But one day, Jesus said in the revelation, he will make them to come and bow before you. <laughs> you cannot laugh at someone who's serving God. You are joking. You are seriously joking. If your trust is in money, you are joking. If your trust is in, in, in a job or in your, in your diploma or in your degree, you are joking. Someone who's serving God, you will come and kneel. God will make you. The Bible says God is the one to make you. You will come and bow before that person's knee. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is a guarantee. It's just time that will tell. You understand? It's just time for you. Don't draw back. Because when you draw back, then you are losing on the promises of God and what God has planned to do for you. He said, no ear has heard. Amen. No ear has heard. No eye has seen what God has prepared for those that love him. Did you hear what the word of God said here? In the book of Romans? It says, no ear has heard. No eyes have seen. What God has prepared for those that love him. But remember, as I said, you will be tested. Patient is of necessity in your life. Just know that when you continue in God, you will never, never go backward. You only, and sometimes in the spirit, when we are moving, moving forward, it looks like we are not making any progress. But we are making huge progress. And one day, suddenly, it will all burst out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So what, and so, this, is, this is the key. So most of the time you are praying, you look like nothing is happening. You look like uh, there's really no movement. Continue. Continue. The Bible says everyone that's sick will always find. Isn't it? It's a guaranteed. It's guaranteed that everyone that's sick will always find. And everyone that knock, that keep knocking. It's not you don't knock, come, then you keep quiet. Then no one will know. It doesn't work that way. Keep knocking. Keep knocking. The Bible said definitely that door is going to be open. Hallelujah. Praise God. And keep asking. You don't just say, God, I, I, I come to you, Lord, and this is it. And then you keep going, I've already asked God. I've already asked God. The Bible doesn't say that. It says keep asking. Amen. And when you keep asking, you are going to receive. Even if you have a problem in your life, maybe a devil that, that keeps uh, disturbing you, it's just because you don't want to pray. That thing is going down. You understand? That thing is going down. It has to. He would try that things to say, I'm not going down. Listen, it's not about what Satan is saying. It's about what the word of God has already told us. He is going down. Period. Amen. The word of God has already pro been proclaimed that he will flee. So it's not about his lies. It's not about what he's talking to you. It's about what God has already declared from eternity. God has spoken already. And his word will not return to him void. In everyone that believes the word of God, it will never return void, my brethren. Believe, continue pressing in. Your victory is just around the corner. And I can tell you that's true. And I can guarantee you that, that it will happen to you. It is the will of God for every one of us to sleep well, to be free from oppression. Just like that. Hallelujah. If you don't draw back, if you don't draw back, then the promises of God on your life is still standing. What makes the things of God not work in our life is when we draw back. That's why Jesus made that many. He healed that many and said, don't go and sin. Less worse thing happen to you. That means the moment you move out of God, then you are opening a door for Satan to oppress you. But the moment you keep pressing in God, even if you are going through tough time, even when things are not really making sense, and you are, I can guarantee you 100% that victory is just around the corner. Just keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing and keep believing. Keep pressing and keep believing. Keep pressing and keep believing. No demon will, will stand for long. Hallelujah. They will all bow. They will all bow. 
You don't need a special anointing. Hallelujah. Just keep pressing. Hallelujah. Keep pressing. Keep believing. Then know that God wants you well. God wants you joyful. God is the one that gives us good things to freely enjoy. Unless you don't believe. If you don't believe, obviously, there's nothing that is going to happen to you. But dare to believe. Listen. Make a quality decision to be a believer. What, is, what does it mean to be a believer? It is to believe the promises of God that are written for you in the word. Make a decision to believe the promises of God. To get, to hold, to take hold of the promises of God into your life. Think about them. Apply them. Confess them. They will come to pass whether you like it or not. I can promise you. As you continue to say it, it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. Definitely it will happen. Hallelujah. But remember I was talking about what? Patience. Patience. Don't give up. Because it has been one year. No. It will happen. Don't give up because it has been five years. Don't give up. I remember I want to use an example of Mahilene. When Mahilene was sick, she said it took her what? Five years. Five years. And that sickness, it was painful. You understand? But it took her five years. Hallelujah. Praise God. She keep pressing on God. I believe that she, if she could have not taken an option to press, to, to press on God, I don't think she could have won that battle. It was because she did not give up. She kept pressing in prayer. She kept, and I remember we will go preach, and this woman will go preach around here. She never stayed. She was sick, yet she came for, for preaching. When we go preach the gospel, she was always there. Every time she was there. Some people say, God, no, no, no. It died. Hallelujah. Your attitude matters. But for her, she keep coming. She keep coming. She did not consider her weaknesses. She considered her great God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And today, she's flourishing in God, in glory, and in power. Amen. Because she kept pressing in. She kept pressing in. She kept pressing in. Praise God. So the other thing is, I'm teaching you the word of God and some of you allow Satan to steal from you. Don't be a zombie when the word of God is being preached. It is this word. I was asking, I was interviewing, I needed to do an interview with you, which I, I will do again. I was asking her, what really transformed the teachings she received? Hallelujah. Now you think about that. This, this lady is my sister-in-law. You know that, right? But she will take the teachings I was teaching and she apply them to her life and that has helped her greatly it was the teachings that transformed her life and you are sitting under the same teaching 